A Philadelphia woman literally gave birth in the front seat of her Tesla. Instead of Tesla Autopilot being misused by a lot of Tesla owners, it's nice to see Tesla Autopilot coming in handy in times when you need it the most. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest news and updates in the EV world that you might have missed in the past week. Stay tuned until the end of this video so you can find out on how you can charge your Tesla in the middle of nowhere with the help of a combustion engine vehicle. So back to the story, a Philadelphia woman literally gave birth on the front seat of her Tesla. She was driving down the highway and thankfully she wasn't in the driver's seat, she was in the passenger side and suddenly her water broke. The couple quickly realized that they were probably not going to make it to the hospital as the hospital was 20 minutes away. So the husband put the car into autopilot and started helping his wife with labor in the passenger seat. So the mother gave birth in the front seat of the Tesla as they were about to reach the hospital. The couple were thinking about naming the baby Tess in tribute to Tesla, but later they changed their mind. But I wonder if this baby is going to get unlimited supercharging or a free Tesla gifted to her on her 18th birthday by Tesla. Up next, we have Tesla Giga Texas opening up at the beginning of 2022. This is exciting for those who are waiting for the Model Y and the Tesla Cybertruck. Tesla Giga Texas is going to be responsible for manufacturing both the new Model Y and the Tesla Cybertruck. Tesla will give out tours to the community on the grand opening of Giga Texas. Up next, look at this video of two drunk people literally destroying an Ionity charger. This video was posted by Wham Bam Danger Cam. I'll link it down in the description as well. But basically, it shows two drunk people. They were just going by, but when they saw a Tesla charging and the Tesla charging station, it might be a third party fast charging station, but this happened in Croatia. So these people just got out of the car and started messing with the charger and tried to put it and fit it into their gas tank. They managed to do so but when this Tesla owner came back the next morning they saw that the charger was out of service when this Tesla owner called the police for destruction of property the police ignored them and said there was nothing that they could do about it. You might have seen this in the news, but most of the exploding EVs that you see in the news are probably Tesla. Other companies don't really get that much attention. But this year, Tesla was beat by GM's own Bolt EV. They had a bunch of recalls a couple of months ago and they shut down their production. And they have announced that this shutdown is going to continue until February. But General Motors continues to deliver their Cybertruck killer or the Hummer EV. However, General Motors also announced that they plan to release an all-electric Silverado from its Chevrolet brand, an electric Denali from the GMC, and Lyric Crossover from the Cadillac brand. Up next, I'm going to show you guys this viral video of this Chinese man who kind of looks like Elon Musk. Hello, I'm you. I'm you. I also posted this video on my Instagram and my friends pointed out that this might be deep fake technology as well. So this man might not actually look like Elon Musk and this can be easily be faked. Up next, we have the Neo ET5, which is basically a Tesla Model 3 rival. This Neo ET5 is set to come with a range of 620 miles or over a thousand kilometers of range. This is definitely impressive because the long range Tesla that has the most amount of range comes at 334 miles of range. Again, the Tesla Model 3 is something that you can buy today. I mean, you can buy it today and you'll probably get delivery after eight months because there's a shortage, but it is something that you can buy today compared to the Neo ET5 that is not still in the market. And by the time this car does hit the market, Tesla is probably going to come out with the 4680 battery cells that's going to give the Tesla more range than what it has right now. And so the story that you guys have been waiting for on how you can charge your Tesla in the middle of nowhere these guys got it figured out. So basically these guys use the BMW X5 to kind of pull the Tesla Model 3. So if you don't own a Tesla, this is what's happening in the video. So the Tesla Model 3, like other electric cars come with regen. So what's happening with the Tesla in the video is that the BMW X5 is basically pulling the Tesla and the Tesla is probably in drive. So it's basically using the regen brakes to generate a little bit of energy that's going into the battery. And they have been doing this for a couple of miles and the Tesla almost charged to 10%. After 10% of charge, apparently they got a message on their Tesla saying that the regen is turned off because it's overheated or something so if you're ever stranded in the Tesla and there's no chargers nearby and you're in the middle of nowhere but there's other gas cars try and get their help try and have a rope with your Tesla at all times so you can kind of do whatever this guy did but this is a very neat trick that you can use for places where there's not much superchargers 
like places in Norway, Canada, where it's not as densely populated with superchargers like in the US. So let me know if you have ever got stranded or you had to call a tow truck or you didn't know what to do, you can probably do this, just keep a rope in the car. And the last but not the least, Elon also tweeted out that the holiday 10.8 update is coming today. He tweeted out Friday that it arrived Tuesday, so today is Tuesday if you guys are watching this. And with Elon time, it might not be today, it can come out Thursday, but it will definitely come out before Christmas. If you guys are new to the Tesla world, Tesla always sends out updates before the holidays with Easter eggs and new features that you can get with the Tesla. The features that they release and the Easter eggs that they have are usually compatible with most of their new cars. So you'll probably get the update unless you drive a 2014 Model S. Last year, for example, we got the new features of using the the boombox basically using the outside speaker of the Tesla to play any sound that you want. So you can do anything from your own custom audio to making the Tesla fart outside of the car. That's all we have for today's news and updates on Tesla. As always, comment down below if you think that I missed something important this week. As always, if you made it to this far into the video, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys like this video, and as always, have a wonderful rest of the day. Goodbye.